Apple may launch bigger screen on an iPhone yet in 2020 lineup Apple is planning three iPhone models for its 2020 lineup, including the biggest ever screen on an iPhone yet and also one smaller than several recent models. South Korean news site ET News reported, Apple is reportedly planning to design models with 5.4-inch, 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch OLED screens. Samsung Display will reportedly be the sole supplier of the 5.4-inch and 6.7-inch panels. Qualcomm forced us to sell modem visit multi-billion loss. Intel Intel accused chip maker Qualcomm of anti-competitive behavior in a court filing, alleging that it resulted in a multi-billion dollar loss in the sale of the majority of Intel's smartphone modem business to Apple. Intel noted that it counts itself among the list of competitors. Qualcomm Forced out of the modem chip market, Apple had bought the business for $1 billion. Gobble gobble. We're back. Tweets Instagram after five-hour outage Facebook-owned Instagram took to Twitter to update on the nearly five-hour outage it faced along with Facebook and Messenger globally including India. Saying gobble gobble. We're back. Instagram also shared a GIF from popular American TV series Friends episode on Thanksgiving to wish people as per down detector. Both Instagram and Facebook began facing issues at around 7. 10 p.m. IST yesterday. 17-year-old banned after criticizing China rejects TikTok's apology for Rosa Aziz. The 17-year-old American girl recently suspended by Chinese startup ByteDance's TikTok after she criticized China over Uyghur Muslim concentration camps, rejected the platform's public apology. TikTok claimed that Aziza's second account was suspended only as it was used on the same device's first account, which was allegedly permanently banned because of a video with Bin Laden's face. Huawei may sue U.S. government agency over latest restrictions. Report Chinese smartphone maker Huawei is planning to sue the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, FCC, over the latest restrictions imposed by it. The Wall Street Journal reported. The FCC banned U.S. telecom carriers from using their universal service fund to buy equipment from firms deemed a national security threat, including Huawei. Huawei reportedly slammed this action as unlawful.